The Philippines economy is expanding at a notable pace, and 2024 looks to be even better. One of the main causes of the nation's excessive economic expansion is the advancement of its infrastructure. Exploring the vital role of infrastructure at the core of this transformative journey lies the pivotal role that infrastructure projects have played in reshaping the Philippine economy. Infrastructure investments go beyond mere enhancements to the current railway network. They represent a strategic investment in the nation's future. This video aims to delve into the multifaceted aspects of this infrastructure boom, examining its impacts on the environment and the economy. It also highlights the future objectives of the Department of Public Works and Highways (DBA), emphasizing on the significance of infrastructure services and insights from key stakeholders in the economic development process. The Build Better Initiative, formerly known as the Build 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 Program, is a strategic investment strategy that is in line with the Philippine Development Strategy for the years 2023 to 2028. 32% of flagship projects will be financed via public-private partnerships PPP schemes. To increase efficacy and promote transparency, the government is modifying the Build Operate Transfer laws implementing rules and regulations. The nation has never seen anything like this increase in infrastructure spending, which might lead to significant improvements in modernization and transportation. Among the many projects are those involving the building of roads, railroads, and airport restoration. It is anticipated that these developments will strengthen the Philippine economy and raise tourism-related income. We will be highlighting 12 of the major projects in the Philippines, some which are under construction, some in the pipeline, and others that are already completed. Number 1. Metro Manila Subway Project, MSP Operations and Maintenance, O&M, PPP Project. This project is for the O&M service provider capable of providing high standards of safety and levels of service for the MSP. The general objective of the O&M project is to support sustainable economic growth along the corridor through the provision and operation of a high-quality, safe transport infrastructure, a faster and more efficient mobility option, and increased connectivity between cities along the route. The Metro Manila Subway Project MSP is a 36 kilometers long underground railway system from Valenzuela City to Pornacan with a connection to NANIA Terminal 3 and has a capacity of 365,000 daily riders. The project is financed by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, CHIGACA. The line will be the fourth heavy rail line in the country after LRT Line 2, MRT Line 7, and the North South Commuter Railway and the first to be mostly underground. It is designed to run trains at 80 kilometers per hour, 50 miles per hour. The tunnel diameter inside and outside is projected to be 5.2 meters, 17 feet, and 5.65 meters, 18.5 feet, respectively, since there are estimates of an expected magnitude 7.2 earthquake, which can be as powerful as magnitude 7.6, in the Marikina Valley fault system, it is designed to withstand a magnitude 8.0 earthquake. In addition, it may not be entirely underground. Assessment of the environmental and geographical considerations in the base alignment. Initially 74.6 kilometers, 46.4 miles long, recommends 18% of the line to be at grade and 9% to be running through viaduct. Prior to final approval, some adjustments to the alignment were done so that it would reduce the risk of damage during earthquakes by traveling along solid adobe ground. On September 5, 2020, in response to questions, Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade provided assurances that the system would be floodproof and announced that partial operations commenced in 2022 and the system would be fully operational by 2026. The MSP will have 17 stations along its alignment and a 30.37 hectare depot located in Valenzuela City. The service provider will be engaged through an operation and management concession under the PPP code. The estimated cost of this project is 488.5 billion Philippine pesos. It will be executed by the Department of Transportation. Number 2. Central Luzon Link Expressway, CL on EX. Phase 1 Operation and Management, and Phase 2 Project. The project shall involve the operation and management of KLLEX Phase 1, Tarlac Cabanachuan Nueva Esigia Corridor, 
The expressway intersects Santa Rosa Tarlac Road at a diamond interchange where the expressway passes above grade. The expressway then passes agricultural land before turning east as it enters La Paz. It crosses La Paz Victoria Road where an interchange serving entering westbound vehicles and exiting eastbound vehicles connects the two. The expressway continues east as it crosses through a viaduct over the Rio Chico River and crosses the Tarlac and Nueva Ecija boundary before crossing the Talavera River. The expressway then continues east as it enters the Ragoza Nueva Ecija. It turns northeast as it meets the Ragoza Interchange, a trumpet interchange connecting with the Ragoza Aliaga Road. It makes a reverse curve turning southeast before crossing Guimba Aliaga Road as it enters Aliaga where a temporary exit is built as the expressway's current terminus. This will provide a free-flowing alternative route and decangus traffic along the Pan-Philippine Highway, PPH, between said cities of Nueva de Sija and the town of Pluridel in Bolacan Province. The project cost is estimated at PUP 12.61 billion and is executed by the Department of Public Works and Highways, TWG. The second phase of the project is expected to commence in the second quarter of 2024. It will be the extension of TLEX Phase I which connects Cabanachuan City and San Jose City passing through the municipalities of Talavera and Lanera in Nueva Ecija of about 35.70 km. In road length, number 3, Metro Rail Transit System Line 3, MRT 3, Rehabilitation. The project is for the rehabilitation operation and maintenance of the MRT-3 to achieve increase in ridership capacity, improvement of the reliability of the whole MRT-3 structure and system, and a better passenger experience of MRT-3. It was constructed at a cost of 98.50 billion Philippine pesos by the Department of Transportation, DOTR. The project also included the upgrade of the line's power supply, overhead catenary system, stations and depot facilities and equipment. The MRT-3 rehabilitation project started in May 2019 and was undertaken by its original contractor and maintenance provider, Japan Sumitomo Corporation and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The line has faced poor maintenance and degradation and the consortium, as the original contractor which also maintained the line for 12 years was able to restore MRT-3's high-quality design condition. The MRT-3 became operational at the end of 1999 on a 16.9 kilometers double track line served by 13 stations from North Avenue in Quezon City to Taft Avenue in Pasay City. The MRT-3 underwent a comprehensive rehabilitation and upgrade, which included the replacing of all rail tracks, the upgrade of signaling systems, the communications and CCTV systems, repair of all station escalators and elevators, and the successful installation of air conditioning units inside the trains. The modernized line and its systems will allow faster efficient, convenient and comfortable public transport services. Due to the improvement works each train can operate to a maximum speed of 60 km per hour from 25 to 30 km slash H, and this also provides an increased train frequency to a 4-minute interval between trains instead of 9 minutes. Travel time from North Avenue to Taft Avenue will now take only 45 minutes from the previous 1 hour and 15 minutes, and a total of 23 trains are now running compared to less than 10 trains prior to lines rehabilitation works when the trains were allowed to carry 70% of the maximum passenger capacity. The project also has contributed to an increase of its ridership capacity from 200,000 passengers per day to 600,000 passengers per day. The project was completed in 2022 and was inaugurated by the Philippines and with Department of Transportation, TOTR, in March 2022. Number 4. Davao International Airport Terminal Expansion Project DAVO International Airport's terminal building will be expanded at a cost of 699.55 million Philippine pesos, with construction work having started in 2023. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, TAP, in a statement, said the planned expansion is expected to be completed in two years. The terminal building of the airport, also known as the Francisco Bangoy International Airport, has been undergoing improvements since March 2022 with a budget of 46.98 million Philippine pesos. As of February 2023, the project is now 35.26% completed 
and will increase immensely upon installation of new escalators and elevators at the check-in and domestic area, as reported by the agency, which operates the airport. The current passenger terminal is a Malay architecture-inspired building, which is four times larger than the old terminal. It is a two-level terminal building with an area of approximately 65,000 square meters, 700,000 square feet. It is fully computerized, more secure, and has more commercial spaces for concessionaires at approximately 9,000 square meters, 97,000 square feet of gross leasable area. It has four, four jet bridges for passenger boarding. It has a flight information display system and closed circuit television system complementing the terminal security system. It is designed to handle approximately 4 million passengers annually. The added capacity is complemented by the latest navigational, security, and baggage handling equipment. The terminal has 14 domestic and 14 international check-in counters that can handle a steady flow of passenger traffic. The check-in counters are equipped with electronic weighing scales and conveyors and its baggage handling system is also computerized. It has two arrival areas for domestic and international flights, with two baggage conveyors each. The cargo terminal building covers almost 5,580 square meters, 60,100 square feet, and can handle up to 84,600 tons, 83,300 long tons, 93,300 short tons of cargo annually. Number 5. North-South Commuter Railway and a CR Project the 873.62 billion Philippine pesos NSCR project is an approximately 147-kilometer commuter railway that runs from Clark, Pampanga to Calamba, Laguna. It will have 35 stations along its alignment and three depots located in Clark, Valenzuela, and Calamba. Construction of the NSCR is currently underway and will be completed in phases beginning in 2026 with full turnover and completion by 2029. The North-South Commuter Railway is being built in three phases and divided into two primary sections. Benar Clark, this is the northern section of the NSCR. Construction was divided into two phases. Benar Clark 1 involves the 38-kilometer, 24-mile Tuchubin Malolos Railway, while Benar Clark 2 involves the 53-kilometer, 33-mile Malolos Clark Railway, the 91-kilometer, 57-mile railway line, when fully completed, will run from Tutuban Station in Manila to New Clark City Station within the Clark Freeport and Special Economic Zone, with a link to Clark International Airport. Pinar Calamba, also known as Pinar Clark Phase 3, Pinar Calamba is the southern section of the NSCR. It involves the reconstruction of the existing metro commuter line as an electrified standard gauge railway with elevated, at grade, and depressed sections. The 56-kilometer, 35-mile railway will run from Solis Station in Manila to Calamba Station in Laguna. On March 15, 2024, the Department of Transportation announced the completion of the 14 kilometers, 8.7 miles, segment of Pinar Clark 1 from Malolos to Bocaue. Nevertheless, the remaining segments are 37.30% complete as of the month, while PNR Clark 2 is at 25.76%. The partial opening was initially set for 2022, but this deadline was not met, presumably due to several factors including but not limited to right-of-way acquisition and the COVID-19 pandemic. Instead, it expects partial operations by 2025 and full operations by 2028. NCR will be the first commuter rail system in the country to be mostly grade separated. Trains are designed to run on 1,435 mm, 4 feet 8 plus 1 half in standard gauge tracks at a design speed of 120 km per hour, 75 miles per hour for regular trains and 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour for airport express trains. Number 6. General Santos Futura Bay. The project involved the construction of condominium complex in Soxxargan, the Philippines. The project was brought about by the FILINVST Land, Incorporated FLI. The project aimed to enhance the residential as well as commercial facilities by using mixed-use condos building to meet the changing lifestyle of the people in the region. Upon completion, Futura Bay will feature three, three, 
master-planned mid-rise residential buildings with nine, nine stories each. The company said the initial inventory of units in the property had been sold out due to the development's robust demand and attractive location. Futura Bay home buyers have a wide choice of smart value and generous living space layouts. Studio, 22 square meters, one bedroom, 28 square meters, and two bedroom, 32 square meters units. All these units are internet ready and feature unobstructed layouts, no visible columns. Perfect for up and coming young professionals and growing young families. Complementing the development are Futura Bay's modern and complete amenities, including a swimming pool, clubhouse, playground, a pet sum for fur parents, as well as security amenities that include a perimeter fence, CCTV, and 24-7 security. Construction work started in 2023 and is forecast to complete in the first quarter of 2028. Number 7. Davao City Bypass Construction Project the bypass road project with a total length of 45.5 kilometers will begin in Barangay Sirawan, Toral, Davao City, and will end at Barangay Chip Laurel. Panabo City is a transformative initiative that aims to alleviate traffic congestion and enhance connectivity for residents and commuters in the area. A key feature is the first ever long distance mountain tunnel in the Philippines spanning 2.3 kilometers. Tunnel excavation is 79% complete for the northbound lane and 71% for the southbound lane. The Department of Public Works and Highways Tibuya, plans to repurpose engineering facilities used in the project. Upon completion, the facilities are to be converted into classrooms, providing 60 standard classrooms to the Department of Education. The Davao City Bypass Construction Project is being undertaken in phases. The 10.7 kilometers contract package, I-1, is now undergoing construction. Financed by a loan from the Japan International Cooperation Agency, this portion includes construction of seven bridges with an aggregate length of 1.26 kilometers. Contract package E-1, funded by the Philippine government, has a cumulative accomplishment rate of 27%. This package focuses on the construction of seven bridges with a total length of 2.54 kilometers. The bridges are positioned at Station 29 plus 700, the northeastern side of Malagamut Road, Barangay Indangan, and Station 32 plus 240 at Mudiang Road, Barangay Mudiang. Finally, contract package E2 covers a total length of 3.52 kilometers, comprising 2.5 kilometers of a four-lane road section, seven bridges with an aggregate length of 1.015 kilometers, and three overpass bridges. Initiated in August 2023, this segment begins at Station 32 plus 240 northeastern side of Mudiang Road, Barangay Mudiang, and proceeds northeastward, concluding at Station 35 plus 760 at Crossing Mahayag Road, Barangay Mahayag. Number 8. Davao River Bridge The project involves the construction of dual two-lane road with a total length of 1,340 meters in Davao City. The detailed engineering design for the project was completed on April 28, 2023 by the Consortium of CCCC Highway Consultant Colt and Beijing Shangjiao Road and Bridge Supervision Colt, which are also providing consulting services on the construction supervision of the Bukana Bridge. The ongoing construction of Dave River Bukana Bridge in Dave City by the Department of Public Works and Highways, TBWA, is rapidly taking shape, with significant milestones achieved just five, five months since the project start. The bridge is expected to hold about 35,000 vehicles every day, alleviating the east-west traffic congestion in the coastal areas of Davao City. The project is funded with the assistance of the Government of the People's Republic of China under the China Aid Grant. TPWE said the ongoing construction provides local employment opportunities, with about 83% of the workers involved in the project being Filipinos. Scheduled for completion by November 2025, Buchanan Bridge holds immense importance for Davao City in promising enhanced connectivity, improved transportation networks, and bolstered economic development opportunities in southern Mindanao. The aim of the project is to see the Davao River Bridge serve the local economic development and people's livelihood at an early date. Number 9. Loag International Airport Development Project 
The Ilocos Norte government acquired a 150 hectares plot of land to fuel the airport's expansion of the Luang International Airport and propel the region into a new era of connectivity and economic prosperity. Currently, the Luang International Airport primarily serves domestic routes, with Sibi Pacific and Philippine Airlines connecting passengers to Manila and Cebu. Its passenger capacity stands at 440, a figure poised to skyrocket with the expansion. This increased capacity will not only cater to a growing tourist influx, but also attract new airlines and potential investors, creating a virtuous cycle of economic growth. The expansion of the Luwag International Airport will include runway expansion, construction of new administration building and substation for transformer, and installation of feeder lines and construction of fuel day tank. By expanding the airport's runway to 205 meters east and 170 meters west from the center lane, bigger aircraft will be accommodated, according to the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CNP. This covers a total of 584752 hectares, consisting of 275 lots and 62 residential buildings and other improvements located in Barangays Calayam, Apaya, and Gebusur, the city. This development project is expected to cost up to about 100 million Philippine pesos and is being implemented by the Department of Transportation, DOTR. Number 10. San Ramon New Port Project the project aims to construct a new modern port facility within the Zamboanga City Special Economic Zone Authority and Freeport, It will serve not only investors in the economic zone, but also handle spillover cargo traffic from the zamboanga Bay Seaport and other ports in Mindanao. According to the project overview, the port will have a design capacity to handle 250,000 20-foot equivalent units, TS of containerized cargo and over 150,000 metric tons of break bulk cargo after Phase 1 construction is completed. The Phase 2 expansion, a decade later, will boost annual capacity to 1.1 million TS and 1.6 million metric tons. On 07 November 2023, the restudied version of the feasibility study for the SSRNP was unanimously approved by the ZAMB Zoni Board of Directors. The board accepted the study's findings on the basis of its market, technical, economic, and financial viability. The study was completed by the consultants from London-based BDO LLP and associate Philippine firm PRMEX, which was contracted by the Public-Private Partnership, PPP, Center for the Purpose through a contract variation. As the project proponent, the ZMB Ichi submitted the restudied feasibility study results and other documents to the National Economic and Development Authority, NEDDA, on 29 November 2023 for review by the Government's Investment Coordination Committee, ICC. The first phase for the construction of this project is targeted for 2025 to 2028 under a 25-year build operate transfer, VOT, contract scheme. Number 11. Mindanao Railway Project, Phase 3, Northern Mindanao. The project features a 54.8-kilometer high-capacity intercity passenger and cargo railway system connecting the industrial and commercial centers of Metro CDO and major infrastructures. It will cover the Phase 3 of the Mindanao Rail Project, MRP. The project shall provide passenger and freight railway services between Languindingan Airport, Cagayan de Oro City, and the municipality of Villanueva in Misamis Oriental. Further, the project will involve the financing, design, construction, operations, and maintenance of the intercity railway system. Expected outputs include passenger railway stations, cargo terminals, maintenance depots, operations control centers, connectivity to seaports, and transit-oriented developments. The Mindanao Railway Project Phase 3 is one of the 74 infrastructure flagship projects of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. under a public-private partnership scheme. Feasibility studies for this project were carried out in February 2024, and it is expected to be complete by 2026. Number 12. New International Airport Manila New Manila International Airport is a proposed development project to construct a second airport and attendant 2,500-hectare airport city in the Filipino capital of Manila, 
The new airport is expected to complement air traffic operations at the existing and congested Manila Nino Aquino International Airport. Two potential locations, Sangli Point, proposed by Japan International Cooperation Agency, and Manila Bay, proposed by San Miguel Corporation, were subject to consideration by the Filipino government. The government confirmed Manila Bay will no longer be pursued as a site option for the new Manila Airport, with a proposal for Bulacan by San Miguel Corporation for the new Manila International Airport project securing Department of Transportation approval. The PPP proposal involves construction operation and maintenance of the airport on a 2,500-hectare area of land in Bulacan, north of Manila Bay. Philippines Department of Transportation, DOTR, and San Miguel Corporation, SMC, signed an agreement on 18 Sep 2019, allowing SMC to commence works on the PHP 735 billion, USD 14 billion, New Manila International Airport project in Bulacan. Land activities for this project are expected to be complete in 2025, with commercial operations expected to start in 2026. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments section what mega project to do next. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.